Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello. How have you guys been doing? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Anyways, today's look gonna try to recreate a look I've seen on Instagram. I've seen it actually quite a lot and it's I'll try to find the picture. I don't know if I saved it, but I, I don't know. I'll try to find the picture. But it's like a glittery eyes, very simple glittery eyes and like this dark glossy red lip and it looks amazing so i want to do that obviously it's not gonna look the same because i am i'm not a makeup artist and i've seen that done by makeup artists onto models and i don't look like a model and i'm not a makeup artist so it's not gonna look the same but it's gonna look like someone who is normal and kind of sometimes knows how to do makeup a little bit i don't know anyways so we're gonna do that hopefully it turns out good for me and yeah so we're gonna start by priming my skin using the mario Badescu spray i'm gonna use the spray first because i have done my skincare a long time ago so i'm just gonna refresh my makeup or my <laughs> refresh my skin What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my liquid shadow in the shade Kitten Beige. It's the Pera Pera Sugar Twinkle Liquid Shadow in the shade Kitten Beige. I think I'm gonna take this shade and apply it all over my lid. I'm gonna try to sheer it out. I don't know how that's gonna work out for me. I don't know. So I'm gonna take a glitter glue first just to make sure it all sticks to my eye this is gonna be very simple like one step eye look and also very glam like very very glam so i'm gonna take the glitter glue and apply it all over because that's how i saw it on the model it's like all over her eyes it looked so good i'm gonna put it on my hand and then i'm gonna take it and then apply it here like that Cause I don't want it to look too harsh because it's very it was like when she moved you can see the glitter but if you are looking at her straight up you only see a little bit that's why I thought like doing this will look the best and obviously I'm not trying to recreate it exactly the same because I'm not that talented I wish, you know what, I wish I added concealer onto my lid just to get rid of my darkness on my eyes but it's okay make it like I have a eye color on my lid <laughs> so I'm gonna add the glitter on this eye we're not gonna be here for a very long time thankfully because all my videos are super long That is the eyes. I love it so much. I love every eye look I do. <laughs> I love my talent. <laughs> I think it's such a good look for someone who is not good with eyeshadow maybe. And you have like something to go to like an event. And you want to do something very glam. This is a good way to go. Because you're literally doing one step. And now I have glitter all over. Mm, fantastic. That is it for the eyes. Isn't it beautiful? I love, I love, I love it, I love it. We're gonna be here for a very short time. It's only eight minutes and I already finished the eyes. You guys, how amazing. <laughs> Watch this be like an hour long. <laughs> I'm gonna prime my skin now. I'm gonna use my Versali primer. If you hear sounds in the background, I can't do anything about that. I live with my family and they are living things, so they make noise. <laughs> I'm 
I did not even have a lot of glitter fallout so that's good next thing is highlighting so I'm gonna take the Real Techniques pointed foundation brush I think for foundation I'm gonna use these two I'm gonna use the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and I'm gonna mix it with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This is very glowy and this is very matte, so I thought I would mix them together today. I'm also gonna use the L'Oreal Fixing Mist Makeup Finishing Spray Set and Extend Makeup. This mattifies your foundation, so I usually use it before my foundation. God damn, it's so aggressive. You know what I don't like? I don't like the smell of the Born This Way foundation. I I hate the smell. I don't know why. It smells disgusting to me. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. Now I'm gonna apply my concealer. I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW30. And then I'm going to apply my Maybelline concealer. It's all dried up. <laughs> There's like nothing in here. Now we're setting the face because I need to set it. Now, we're gonna bronze my skin. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired, you guys. I just, I just wanna throw it out, but I just wanna finish it at the same time. It's quite annoying having to dig in, into this to have any product on the brush. And for blush, I'm gonna use a favorite of mine and it's the H&M blush in the shade Brown Sugar. Why can't I open this? Okay, got it. The sh blush right here. So pretty. I love how this blush looks like on the skin. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then we can finish the rest of the face or and the eyes, whatever. We can finish the rest. My eyebrows, I am so hairy. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, I think that I can't do anything, you guys. I really cannot. Okay, I'm gonna highlight my skin. I don't know how I forgot highlighter. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution palette. I think I'm gonna go with, oh, sorry. I'm gonna take the shade here. I don't know the name of this palette. I got it a while ago and I don't know if it's still available. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do for my lower lash line. Should we just leave it with and apply just mascara? I think that will look nice. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna mix these two, the white shade and the gold shade in my inner corner. right and before i do my mascara i'm gonna spray my face using the mac fix plus i'm gonna curl my lashes now
and for mascara i'm gonna take the maybelline forces blush lift In my lower lash line, there's always a space where I don't have any hair. <laughs> I have no idea what happens, but I have no hair here. It's a fun time. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have a dark liner, so I'm just gonna use this as my liner. I'm gonna use the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. I think this is the first time I... Yep the first time i've used this you guys i don't know if you're able to see this but you're gonna be looking at my forehead for a few minutes i apologize okay i have the lip done i think is it okay? I don't know. It's as good as it's gonna look. Because I don't have a clear gloss and because the lip is glossy in the picture, I'm gonna use just my lip balm. I'm gonna apply it on the back of my hand and then with a brush apply a little bit on the lip because dark lips and being glossy, it's not it but if you're gonna be doing this look and you have to go somewhere don't make it glossy because it's gonna be a difficult job i am done is there lipstick on my teeth probably and that is why you don't wear a glossy dark lips because it's always going to be on your teeth at a fun time anyways that is it for the look you guys i i keep looking at the mirror because i don't want to have lipstick on my teeth so i'm looking at the mirror just to make sure i don't have any lipstick on my teeth but by the end of the video i'll probably have lipstick on my teeth this is it this is the final look i quite like it i think if you want to recreate this look just do it with a basic nude and if you want it to be glossy you can have it glossy because i feel like with the eyes and the lips they're both looking kind of like glossy and wet and i kind of love it a lot it looks amazing so i'm gonna end this video before more lipstick becomes on my teeth so thank you guys so much for watching this was hopefully a quick one i didn't want to film for three hours because it's my bedtime and i want to go to sleep because i'm tired anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you want to subscribe please do and if you don't want to subscribe that's okay that's fine and yeah i will see you next time bye